Hello, comrades, and welcome back to the finest city of Neuve Revergrad. Oop, I forgot to play time forward. <laughs> In between the episodes, I've actually played about an hour. I decided, well, either something very exciting will happen or I'll play about an hour. I have a little bit of a limited time. I also wanted to say Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and Happy Holidays to everybody. I uh, hope you have a wonderful day. This episode's coming out on Christmas, so I hope you enjoy it. In any event, I have been just going around. It's, it's been relatively boring. Uh, the biggest, probably noteworthy thing is getting enough steel into here. So since the last episode, I have put four trucks on taking steel from there up to this depot here. And you can see we still don't have any in here. So at that point, it's just because we have so many different conveyors and buildings but we do have four trucks on it, and that's kind of enough. To be honest, it's keeping up for the most part with our supply. Now, of course, I say that, and we get two steel trucks right at that, or trains at that moment, getting in here, dropping off even more steel. So this guy, you could top, will top it off. But when I come over and look at our steel mills, you know, we're, we're holding our own, but a lot of times we do have trains sitting here. We're not exporting any directly. Now, I did do a little bit, which will cause us to export some steel. If we come over in the last episode, I don't like that. Why do we have such a jam up there? Yeah, I don't really like that they're not better spaced out and that they're waiting to drop people off. I'd rather them never have to wait to drop people off. So I think what I would have do, sorry, I got distracted, but let's just get rid of this signal. Yeah, so the next signal will be right there. That means this guy won't leave the station, which is kind of bad for a minute, but that should put an awful big gap. I don't understand you know, why they're, they're so back-to-back. -back. Hmm. Anyway, well, there we go. Might just be a few too many trains for such a short distance. But in any event, one of the things I was hoping to maybe do is to start talking about redesigning this intersections so that we have a bus over or not a bus we have a bridge over here for these buses which is going to be kind of goofy with getting them up here and over there and also talk about potentially even replacing that with a train line but I'd really like to get not waste the mechanical components they're one of our more expensive items and we have two trucks that are driving them back and forth just to empty this out you'd still say we still have a fair amount and, and there's no real hurry to do that. It's, it's been that way since many, many moons ago. So what's happening now is that they're coming up here and waiting. And then we have a train that comes in here and I put him on export. So this guy is now exporting things as he drives around and tops people off. Again, nothing urgent, nothing not to be patient about. So, yeah, so there's that. We have also, I haven't done anything in here yet, but we've got a bunch more houses. Now I see our voltage is fluctuating. Yeah, I, part of this, we really have to watch out for really ramping things up, but at least I think we won't get plus 21s over here, which is kind of good. All right, so we should get some people spread out. We're building our university and that should help make sure, I think the last episode, I just put more educated people in here, but then Shortly, that should be a non-issue for the future, I hope. And you know what? I can assign this guy. So I've just been assigned this one construction office. You can see he's just got the university left. Now, is this one? Yeah, for some reason, it's two roads. Okay. I missed that one. Yeah, was, I think I got the other footpaths over here done. So there we go. So we're, we should be doing pretty well over here. I mean, people seem very happy. And... I th I'm pretty convinced now that my plus 21 exodus, my escapees are mostly due to plus 21s, which I'm kind of okay with. I do wish there was a way to tell why people were escaping. Because when I don't have a lot of plus 21s, I can say, oh, well, they're not happy here is why they're escaping. You know, you, need, you know because you have escapes that you can, should go look around. There's, there's no real warning to say, oh, well, you have escapes for this or that reason. So it's sort of, now I always have escapes. It's, it's gonna hide the fact that I might have some that are like legitimate escapees, like because of bad housing or poor food or, or whatever the case is, lack of sports, <laughs> whatever it is. 
So, other than that, we've just been going around and like here, I ended up building a little rail line this way just because it was taking way too long to get this done driving all the way around the long way. Now, they may cause themselves some problems here, but hopefully, is the other one out and about? No. Is he heading there? There, there he is. So now I can put two trains on finishing up this because this is holding us up for getting this inner loop around Rivergrad done. But, you know, it should be done in the not too distant future. So hopefully that goes pretty well. Yeah, so really the biggest problem I've been having is this steel. It's been slowing down our rail construction and everything else. And it's just getting it to this one spot. So you could say, there we go. We got our steel trucks loading up, ready to go. And, and after that, we've just been yeah, in here plugging away at roads and everything else on all of our different constructions. And again, these guys are all slow-ish and just been looking for things like you can kind of tell when there's a few less means he probably got a road or two done in here. So he's been able to work on the gravel roads. It's, it's when we get to these paved roads here that he starts having a problem. Yeah, so there we go. And then we we're getting close to done. So this is where I was hoping that something would be completed. We're getting kind of close to done in here. Now, one of the things I wanted to do is take a look. I put all these dirt roads just, I think, to get them out of there where we could, you know, because they're just easier to lay down. But I do want to get these to be, at the very least, gravel roads. Right? We have our footpath over to here, so we don't need a paved road. I'm just trying to make sure... Yeah, none of this would really need a paved road, but the gravel will help get the fire truck there a little bit faster. I think we're getting a little further away. What I was thinking is maybe just going from here to here. Man, do, do, do we do? I don't know. I don't think these necessarily burn down, but we'll put a gravel road there anyway. Right, and then this is the part that really... See, I don't know that we need that gravel road either, but then I can get rid of this, which I guess was my planned out. You know what? We don't have... Uh, yeah, let's do like this. All right, so that will get us to that conveyor there. And then uh, what about this guy? Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> That's a bit of a problem, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, that's... Yeah, I wonder if I can... Well, we haven't built it yet, right? So let's just see if we can't demolish it and move it back a little bit. It looks like it could possibly go closer to... Come up here to storages. Yeah, big... Or medium open storage. Oh, what do we have? A small? No, because we need a railroad. Oh, is this this is different? Ah, they changed it. Well, yeah, you know what? Like, maybe they didn't change it. But let's see. Is that? Get get right online because this will be this will be tight. Most worried about this. Yep, good, it, it attached. One way or the other, we can get this train, even if we have to. Might as well just make down an electric track. Good, it'll attach. Now, yeah, did that get us? Yeah, let's just do a dirt road. Yeah, see, it's, that's perfect. Now, you know what? Do we want to just go? Can we just go? Yeah, look at that. Right, and then well, that was our temporary road. Now well, you know what? It's not so temporary anymore, is it? Yeah, we'll get that graveled. Yeah, that's fine. Well, I guess they would maybe come around this way. Who knows? We'll just gravel it up. It's not gonna not gonna kill us. And this guy's still stranded <laughs> until until this station gets built. 
You've got to be close, because I looked a while ago, and I noticed you were kind of close. All right, so let's commit to those roads before I go too far. And then we also have one of these and a tiny bit of track. All right, and I'll just get this guy to work on the track. And I might be able to assign this guy some more stuff. I don't think I have in a while. And he's just been working on over here, which is kind of far, but again, not, nothing no, nothing too big of a hurry. Yep, we got that last one assigned. Right? Is that the last one? Yeah. Good. But then I need to electrify that, so that, that'll be another, another whole assignment. I probably could do one side, right? Just to speed things up a little bit. Though it doesn't make too much difference because then we're not really going to wait on this side. We're going to be waiting on the other the other half. And that one's already done, right? Yep. Alright, so I could come back over here and get that other guy signed up. Where the heck is he? Give him something more to do. And I guess it's not bad. Sometimes, too, when you start electrifying too much, like I found... Oh, what are you going that way for? Oh, you're going to go... Well, hopefully... Hopefully that works out. Yeah, I guess it would be faster for him to go this way. But hopefully he can get back out the other side. I might have just messed up because he's coming this way to do this last last bit. We'll see. I don't think he'll get it all done. So we'll come back and we'll see. We may have to cancel his construction and then restart him. Yeah, I, um, many, many different things like that have happened. <laughs> just little, little annoyances. And then there's things along these lines where now that we can get in here we got these other roads just getting them all assigned yep, yeah I guess that wouldn't connect but then see like this will and then we have them assigned to like these different things so I got these we're building up into here so we're getting that all done so we're in, we're in pretty good shape it's you know just not not too much dramatic for the sake of YouTube happening but but many good things are happening. And then, did we look down here yet? Plastics factory. Yeah, this we're, we're making some good progress into here. I've got this guy make building flats now. But there was also a bunch of roads I had to put in. He's, he's finally getting them done, slowly but surely. But then we're, we should be ready to go with, you know, there's no people over here yet. But when, when it does come time for people, we should be good to go. Now, I do remember... Now that these roads are done, we could put in some footpaths. I'm not sure exactly where they'll need them. I got a lot of these paved roads, but I know I know we probably want to come out of here and get it so these people can get to some sports. And yeah, that's that's pretty tight right there, isn't it? Can we get through there? Yeah. I just might. Oop! Thought I had it. Man, so that that one's not. Those aren't going to connect. But I guess that's. Uh, what what is in the way? I don't see anything. Hmm. Doesn't look like anything's in the way. Let's just take that back a little bit extra. See if we can't. Can we? I was hoping to get somebody else attached. These guys should be able to make it anyhow. Yeah, probably could just go like this and then like that. It's acting. Good. That's what I wanted anyhow. All right, and then it probably won't hurt. I don't know. Do these these guys have sports up here? But it probably wouldn't hurt to do something like that. All right, and then 
Yeah, hopefully we don't need a road there in the future. And then we would come up this way. Yeah, I, don't, I think that was a waste. But and then this one could get over here just because there will be people here that could get to sports a little bit easier. What else would we do? I mean, I think it really wouldn't hurt if people could go along the back there and get into, say, this shopping center this way. And then these people will just go out the front, but then we could have, like, a walkway there just to get them into the shopping center faster. And certainly wouldn't hurt. And that one may not be necessary to get them into the... Let's do something like this. Again, it won't, won't hurt them. A little bit of a goofy footpath. Yeah, you know what? Let's get rid of that. What I want to do is attach this one up first. Alright, that look a little better. And then people from here might like some sports, of course. Of course, that won't attach perfectly. And these people really probably want to get out to this road at that point, don't they? You can't do that? Hmm. That's, that's a bit of a bummer. Yeah, I guess they're too close. So we could... Can I get through there? Can I get through, like, here? Oh, you know what? <laughs> Sorry. I was wondering why that wouldn't attach. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time, aren't you? Well, I guess your, your buddies can go that way. Yeah, if we came... Hmm... All right, you know what, we're just not going to worry about it too much. And then how about over here? Yeah, it might not hurt if they can get... Yeah, actually, definitely want them to be able to get into this... Sports. Yeah, it won't hurt if they can get a look to the kindergarten a little faster. And you know what, we're going to... Go across the road so they can get to their... Yeah, let's just do this since we don't have a man. Will you attach there? Let's just see. Can I? No. Can I come off? Okay, whoop, right there. That's good. Okay, game safe. All right, so that they should be able to get over to there, maybe to those sports that we put all the way over there. And then I think it's not going to hurt. Right, get them a little closer to the station just in case some of them are further away. That might make the difference in them getting there. Good. So we have footpath this out. Plenty of more work. <laughs> it's too much work. All right. So what's next? How are they doing in here? Uh, not, not so much. All right, so this guy should be auto-searching, yeah, the footpath. So he, he just got a bunch more stuff to do. And then we had a building burned down. Thank you for the comment. I'm forgetting exactly who said it at this point. I got quite a few comments, which is great. Thank, thank you guys all very much. I, I read every one and try to respond to the vast majority, even if it's just to give you a like of sorts. But this building had burned down, and it's, they changed it a little bit, so it's a different shape. So I had to change the roads up, but I sent our construction crew down to here in order to get this done. But now I need to figure out if, if we're getting vehicles in here, did we lose some? Well, we got a little bit of fabric, but is there... Yeah, see, we have things like this fabric factory load. Let's... All right, unload your fabric wait so 
Is there anybody else? That's not... All related vehicles. So that one's good to go. I thought I would have had more than one... Yeah, maybe not. Or did I have... Am I missing something? Oh, look, another fabric factory burnt down. Why? I don't know. Oh, is this one we didn't have the fire trucks in here? Well, that's really annoying because it's going to be hard to get this guy back in. All right, let's just... Well, yeah. Uh, very carefully delete that road. Delete that footpath. And various... This way. Yeah, the road still. Too much road still. Let's get rid of that. I do wish there was like a little bit of a mechanism to when you. Like when you had one burned down that you could just replace it where it was. Come on, there's one red dot. Oh, I saw a flash of green. Okay, hopefully that will reconnect to everything. All right, so we need, let's see if the, these are the always the most nervous about these rehooking. Yep, they did. Look, that auto, auto did itself. And then we'll have a regular paved road, right? All right, now that I sent that construction crew all the way back. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, there we go. At least I, I didn't even notice that guy was gone. And I'm assuming he burnt down a while ago. I thought it was just this one when somebody said, hey, a building burnt down. But apparently we had two, so. All right, well, we got it back going a little bit more. And the reason I noticed that was because this guy wasn't getting any, because I've had problems with these guys going to every other track. So the good news is, is that because I finally got them with the waypoints to go to one track or the other, this this one's not slowing this one down. You can see this guy's been sitting there for quite a while. And I, and I didn't see any smoke coming out of there. So, yeah. So what we need to do is get over here and <laughs> send these guys right back. I didn't send the entire construction crew now. I sent a... We'll leave that open, but I, I want to move this guy back into here. And then he's open. And I don't need a bulldozer, but we'll take most of the rest of this stuff. All right, we don't need the paver. I, mean, I think that would be... We got dumpers. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll send these guys down there if they can't complete the job. They don't have a crane. I'm okay if they take a little bit of time. It's just all a bit annoying. Oops. So now, okay, yeah, these guys are assigned to find roads, so, yeah. so they did. All right, so I'll have to come back down in a little while. Hopefully I'll remember and get that done. But other than that, I've just, I have looked around. I haven't seen any massive traffic jams. Now, what do we have going on here? Just, we're just waiting on corn, which is... How is our meat factory doing? I haven't looked at that in quite a while. Do we have meat sitting in here? Yeah. Could probably up our meat train. Have we been purchasing any meat? That's another good question. It's been a while since I 
Let's just look at last month. No, we purchased a little bit of food. How about this month? A tiny bit. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'd have to take a look around. I'm not, not sure I'm going to worry about that little bit. So we're purchasing power and electronics. Yeah, did we do electronics last month? Yeah, someplace isn't getting electronics. We'll have to go looking for that at some point. I may put a little break in the video. Let's see how it goes. Just let a little more time. Like I said, I have a limited amount of time, but we've been doing pretty well with keeping up with the gravel. For a while, we were running out of that. And then another thing that I thought of doing, and this is because if you watch the live stream on Saturdays, you'll know that we got a really good little system for exporting and whatnot. And it's not quite as good here. Now, is this one full? And this one's... Are we producing? Yeah, so is this one going up? Are they both going up? You know what? I don't actually understand why... Oh, uh, you know what? I think what I need to do... Like, in other words, this would be... We, we have it set up on the other map where... We would have exports going this way, but then I don't really have it this way at all. So the problem is what I would need is like another train to come in here with a second train stop, right? So this might be our domestic supply. And then I would have to pump out of these into, or no, I'm sorry. This, if this was our exporting, we would pump out of these into another tank that was for the domestic supply so I would need like another train track to come down into here because this is just splitting it into these tanks which is very limited like if we look here there's like I don't, there shouldn't be hardly any vehicles say like compared to how many are on the map with cisterns doing asphalt this is just really kind of weak yeah so I don't think I'm quite prepared to do that because I think I'd want to wait there's a lot of little plans on improvements and what I'm picturing is going to happen is as we get these bigger construction projects done I'm going to have a ton of vehicles and then I think we'll go around and do little improvements like that so if you guys have any suggestions on that definitely let me know now one thing that we definitely could consider doing and I moved out a one of our mixers from here and put a bulldozer in there is we have a new possibility. <laughs> I'm wondering if, let's take a look at our constructions and engineered. We can now make production line, railway production line. And I was eyeing up this space. First, I was thinking about just replacing one of these, but I thought, well, there's, there's no real reason. If we did this, we'd have to probably put in another train station but I'm thinking this would be good. Now we could, and the reason that I don't want to put it here is because it's longer. Do you see that? And, and I don't really want to mess with that too much. Uh, that would work, wouldn't it? I mean, we'd have to redo some things, but it would fit in there. I just wouldn't be able to have the system with the warehouses. Though I don't know that I need that where, let's see. We could turn this guy this way, and then the, I don't want to necessarily want any trains coming out here, but then there's a lot less ports on that left-hand side, right? Like, I'd, I'd want more, like, export ports, if that makes sense. If we put it way back in here, but then what I didn't have, too, is I wanted to come out here with our wireframe. And just see about, yeah, I guess I'd want to level it up from like down here. Because it's going to have to be fairly level. So why don't I take that little break I was talking about, get my thoughts together on this. And we might have to do some destruction to like those roads. And, and I want to push this kind of as far as I can this way. And, uh, oh, you know what? I'm on the wrong leveling tool. I was wondering what was going on. That wasn't real bright. 
All right, we'll level it up to this point. But yeah, let me level this. It'll be a little bit boring. There we go. That's, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's what I want. All right, let, let me level what I just messed up too, and I'll be right back. Okay, I leveled this whole area out. Now that I got the right leveling tool, I wanted to come up and try to get this guy sort of as far up this way as I could. And the reason is, if you look, like right here is a pedestrian path. And I was hoping, let's come over to, oh, let's come right there. Like if I, uh, they might be able to walk along there. Uh, you know what, I never did build this. Okay, let's see, can we get, where is this guy? There he is. Let's get him working on that. Now can we get, let's zoom in there. I'm really hoping I can get a footpath off of that. Yes, I can. Oops, that I missed. All right. Will you attach to that? Yes, you will. So let's see. Hopefully that's that'll work. I think it's on the borderline. But there we go. So I probably canceled him from working on because when you divide them in half it messes them up. Let's, let's see if he can't work on that while we're there you go. And then I'll have to work on the other two later. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking then. We already have these warehouses, and rather than trying to do that, because we can't put them on the end here, we need to get a railroad or two. I'm not sure exactly how this works. I think I'll put this one in first, just so we can get an idea of the space. And this will be the tighter of the two. I don't really know if we need... Oh, come on. I don't really know if we need to, but yeah, maybe we'll take this one down. I need to do a little more leveling, or I would like to do a little more leveling. All right? Like, I don't think we need to. It's just going to be getting the things out of there, I think. At least that's why I'm hoping it works. And then we're going to need a road. And, yeah, let's just bring this out there and then come back to the closest thing here now I definitely I don't know if there's going to be any issue because this isn't really going to be like a supply railroad track with just let's go down a little bit straighter all right and then we'll need to level that guy up till he turns green Right, so that would get them into there. Now the next thing that I'm nervous about is, yeah, will this guy fit? No way. Same thing with this. So what I was thinking of is putting two of these on there, but what that means is that we're going to have to move this railroad track over. Let's see, this will give us... Yeah, you know, we might as well give ourselves a little extra room. So it's, I mean, this would almost work Oops, <laughs> if it was down here, but then, you know, I don't, we don't need to make it that tight. So what I think I want to do is demolish that. I didn't really mean to build it. Is I think we need to come out here with this one. All right, if we, you know, that's going to have to move over at least two of these blocks. So let's move it over three blocks to, like, say, there. I don't want to cause I want to cause a huge traffic jam while I'm designing this. All right, so these tracks would then come that way. Yeah, these could come like straight off of here. All right, but that's 
going to cause, you know, you know what, I'm going to pause it for half a second or more. All right. I thought I missed. Now, the problem that I see right at this moment with this is that getting the trains in here to do the construction is going to be a bit of a nightmare. I mean, I could probably, we need to do con some train construction over here. Let's see, can we level this relatively quickly while we're on camera? Right, like we'll get just because this is up in the air and then it goes back down anyway, so as long as it doesn't get too steep at the end. Oops, bringing that back up. Yeah, no, I don't want to bring anything up. So now let's do some road leveling. the way that looks so we'll try to get it to it's all sort of orange I think that'll work all right and then we can yeah do we want to I guess we just come in yeah these are just really going to be for the this one line is just going to be for the trains coming out Right? And if they're coming out, do they really need to go both ways? And we never really hooked this up. And this is, I got this is both ways in. Yeah, we should change that. Yeah, th this, I guess I did that for construction. There's a, here, let me spin around so you guys can see. I have this switch over so they could both go that way, but. I really haven't had many trains waiting here. This is held back so that they can, like if a long train comes in, it doesn't foul the works up. Oops, wrong button. All right, will you? No. All right, so if we allowed it so that they could switch there, we could then put A regular signal like here. And yeah, doing the construction down here is going to be a nightmare. Here, you know what? We can. Yeah, and then this this would be just useless, really, until until we hook this guy up. Yeah, and this is really the only one we really need is like this one. Let's get rid of that. And then let me do this so that we, because that might mess us up again. All right, so for at this point, this will just be for these trains to get out of here, and I think that'll work. And then if we were going to do that, well, really, we could. Right, because they can get in there and construct all of that. And then what I would just need is. All right, get rid of that one and then. All right, that would let them get into both of those. All green all right so they'll be able to get in to construct that and then we just have to get them yeah to not conflict here so yeah I think this is fine that that one's pointed this way 
and this one's pointed that way. So nobody should come in on this track and they can't come in this way. So as long as these guys can get into here and switcheroo, then we'll be in good shape. And so this would need to be a two-way, right? One way in, one boom, boom. And then I would, just for the sake of not having conflicts, we're only going to get one train in here, but then that guy can get up to there, and then we'll have a signal here. This should be a chain signal, in case there's a train working on it. All right, and then we could do a chain signal back out. And then chain signal back, or a regular signal back out, chain signal in. And then like that, all right? And they should be able to work their way all the way up into here. And then we'll do, just for now at least, chain in, chain in, out. Two ways. That way they can get in and out of there. Uh, let's get rid of this one. Why'd you leave me a... Because uh, you got a train on that. Alright, so hopefully that doesn't cause too many problems. <laughs> but that'll get us moving this over. All right? Goofy as it might be in some ways, that'll get us plenty out of the way. And then we'll be able to build our rail cargo station. You know, just have trucks come from, like, these warehouses and... It appears the trains need the same exact thing, so we'll just get individual trucks up here. We really haven't been running our car production for the lack of steel anyway, so even if it messes up these trains for a little while, if I had a good place to put them, I probably would. Let's see, if I play this forward, will that guy figure out where he's going? No, yep, okay, good. Now, do we have any... I don't know if we have... Oh, look, we completely... Completely got rid of this guy. All right, so let's, because uh, just because he wasn't doing anything, so let's. I guess we're gonna have to just sort of auto purchase this. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll auto purchase it, and we'll just have him come like that and that. And you know what? I'm kind of okay. Yeah, I'm okay with the conflict. So let me just commit to all those train tracks and then just purchase these two. And I think the train should be able to get in here. Or a construction crane. Yeah, let's get rid of our wire frame. And yeah, where would we have some? Yeah, took them out. Uh, how about all the way down by clothing? I know I had some here at one point. No, nope, took them out. Wait, are we really using them all? I don't think we are. Nope. Nope. Uh, where else? <laughs> yeah, well, we're doing these. These, I think we... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to take one of them out. We only need one, right? And this guy doesn't seem to be doing anything at this moment. So let's see if he can get to this without building that extra extra bit he seems to be moving all right so i think he can get around like come in here and loop around and then come back in and go that way so hopefully he gets over there and then we will do we have the do we are we probably completely no no we still have that so we'll have to see so let's assign him Well, you can do this first. Let's assign them both. There'll only be one train in there. So he'll do this one first, and then that'll... Because that... I don't think that should cause a problem. They should just be able to come in this other way. Right? Because they can go out that way. Well, we'll see what happens. If we get a train back up, we'll know the reason. And then do we have... Will we have power here? Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, probably. Maybe. It'll be close. 
Do we have power? I thought we had one down this way. No, we might need to get power over here, but we'll see once it gets built. But there we go. So we'll have trains, the ability to build our own trains. <laughs> Should be good. Yeah, what are you, what are you doing sitting there? That's our fabric guy. Yeah, so we, we seem to be, if you come here and look, when you look at the warehouse for the steel and the plastic, it seems to be the same exact things they need. So I think I'm just going to, you know, if I was doing a whole new section, I might make it a little bit fancier, but I don't really feel like leveling out that much more. And I think this will work. I sort of learned some lessons with the automotive. Like really, th well, we always go big, but... You know, we don't necessarily need all of this automotive for making these trucks and whatnot. So the only other thing I would say is you know, we probably want to let's get some of these vehicles out of here. Just so they're not clogging up our works while we're waiting for other things around the map to happen. these yeah well we'll just get them out of here because you can't the other thing I don't like is when they're sitting in here you can't get them to you can't like assign them to any routes specifically so it's nice just to be able to get them out of here for that reason wait there's a lot of work though isn't it all right that's good enough for the moment okay so let's commit to this road so they can start working on that. I oh, don't know. No, we don't. Nah. You know what I'm going to do is just let me delete. Oh, what did I do? There. Hopefully, I don't. Either way, I'll remember that but we need to attach those roads. But if it gets assigned or committed to, that's fine. So in the meantime, how are these guys doing? They're not doing so much, which is kind of a good sign. This has been the story of my last hour or two, or five in the game. Getting all these guys, these ones are working on the roads. Let's see, what have we done or not done? So we've not quite gotten this one done, or this one, or this one. Okay, so we can get this, this, it. There'll be more. That's a gas station there, and then that goes up to our quarries, and then this is the ore processor, and we should have, I don't see a conveyor. Did we forget a conveyor? Let's, let's get this guy helping. Yeah, I don't, I don't see a conveyor. Why not? Let's go. How about here? No, you don't like that? Can I? There we go. How about that? Yes. So now let's go back to this one. All right, we can get one of these guys working on that, and then eventually we'll get these roads done. We can get those built. Uh, I'll just assign somebody to that conveyor since we can. Good, so that gets that going. And this is this is the story. This is the name of the game. Now here. Right, by the way, notice some of the road numbers. We have like three thousand roads. Now, I know a lot of them are little tiny connector roads or whatever, but yeah, you know what? I was afraid of this, too. I knew that might happen. Let's see if we can't. Now, at one point, many, many moons ago, somebody suggested I could just send, you know, could just do that, but that's this is what happens. Sent the wrong one back, of course, you know? 
So hopefully this guy will get out of there and the other one will get in. Because once they get out of here, then they're on a two-way thing. They should be okay. But yeah, look, then we jammed up the whole traffic right there. So that's if there was a reason why I didn't do that earlier, that was kind of it. But it's fine. I'm willing to put up with it to get it to go a little bit faster. So hopefully by the beginning of some episode, or at the point in some episode, we'll be able to come in there and do that. Now, it seems like... Also seems like there's another road here. That's yes. Yeah, see that? Yeah. You know what I'd like to do maybe is all right. Oops. Okay. Probably. You still red? What are you feeding back on yourself or something? Right now you're just sitting there because what? Okay, don't know why. Probably don't have any workers. Oh, that's this was already all the way over here. Yeah, no workers. Okay, I can live. I mean, they're not getting the best workers there. They haven't been. It's been kind of a common thing that that that's the problem now. Yeah, you're working your way way in there. Is that what I want you to do? Yeah, probably. You might as well help. Yeah, once you get workers, you'll start going. And then these guys are building into here. And then I've had these guys working on all the way up into here, I think. So pretty shortly they should be done that little... Yeah, look, he got done at what? Like 99.99%. Game safe. All right, so what, what do we have? Are we assigned with four of them here? Yeah, and then eventually I'd like to get it so they can come into here, but. And then you guys are, yep, 10 tons of stuff. And then this one's probably another one I've been assigning. Yeah, see, there we go. We got, we're getting a little, probably a little bit better steel, even than in the very beginning. And these roads, these these roads just take forever because we're not getting good steel up here. And then I've just been trying to get these other gravel roads and whatever other paved roads we can done. Good, this will be good. Get that station done. Get down into here. And you guys still have plenty. These guys always have plenty because there's not enough steel. I did I did assign them some things not too long ago. Missing covered hall. Hmm. Yeah, that's... What do we have in here? I mean, this is supposed to be for a big building construction. But we should probably have a covered hall in there. We got an extra bus. Yeah, but I don't really want to change this up too much. I would just sort of want these guys to help each other. Hopefully this guy's like finding... Is that not attached yet? No. All right, hopefully, like, because they're supporting each other, this guy has a covered hall. We'll take care of that. So the other guy doesn't need it. And then just try to assign my general construction guy here to things like this, where I know that we need kind of like heavy covered hall, where it's this substation there. How are we doing all the way down in clothing? Are we getting that? That's not clothing. Are we getting the roads built and whatnot? Need a bus. What did we do with our bus? I know we had two buses. Did they just not make it before I... Yeah, they just didn't make it before I turned them around. Yeah, this is why we check on these things. All right, anything else happening? Not a whole lot. I mean, we are producing, so at least we're producing. Yeah, 
I'm just looking for traffic jams. Anything wrong? Nope. And then how are we doing over here? Yeah, we're getting there. So I think because I have a lot to do today, the day before Christmas, and I'm recording the episode the day before, I think I'm going to call it an early episode very slightly, 55 minutes or so, 56 minutes I guess we're up to, somewhere in that ballpark by the time I say goodbye. And we will, you know, when we come back, we'll have this university built and we'll have something else. I think next time I'm just going to play time forward until we actually have something to fire up, <laughs> you know, like whether it's something more to build. And then we'll we'll probably also have worked on this rail by then. And, and we could start talking about getting this done. And then we're really not too far off on Plaster City over here, too. I mean, it's, you know, we got three construction offices. So this should go reasonably quickly and we'll get that done as well. So there you go. So I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. And let me know if you have any suggestions. I definitely appreciate all your suggestions. I know there's some things in the back of my mind that I'm not remembering right now. Suggestion you guys have made. Things I might have even gone in and fixed and forgot to write down that I fixed them. But by then we can even have maybe this, this railroad done. Look, we only have this one little bit left on this part. And then we can start getting into here and getting this built. And then we'll have to electrify that last little bit. But yeah, that might be the thing to do in the next episode is to is to get some more people into here. Do we have our power? That was an issue last time. Yeah, it looks like we got looks like we got power. Do we get it? Yeah, we got it hooked up over here too. No one lives here. That's good because they wouldn't have everything they needed. And then the other thing I noticed about this, yeah, we can get into it next episode. I don't really have like schools and whatnot for them to go to. So I'm kind of curious to see if they won't, if this train won't do the trick for them as far as the schools go. There we go. All right. Well, we're going to get some stuff done in between the episodes, but then probably not too long. I have a feeling like some things will start to trigger. I have a feeling I have quite a few hours of just sort of boring assigning things. And then we're going to really get, we got a lot of stuff going on. You know, we're, We've got four steel mills that are running so-so, and we're we're not exporting any steel, and we're we're using a lot of it. So unfortunately, we can't really ramp it up until we get these power plants over here going, and and that's just kind of a long project. But and then we're gonna have to have a problem with power, I bet. Yeah, like we just we just really need to get Bricksville going. So hopefully, we got most of our steel issues. How are we doing? Real quick on the. Yeah, look, we're good. We actually have some steel in here, so that's good. Yeah, this guy's missing a covered haul, which is fine as long as somebody else takes stuff out. Worker's missing. No bus. <laughs> All right, well, hopefully... Is this guy... Yeah, he should be auto-searching, so hopefully he's going everywhere. Then there might be a limit to how far they're auto-search, or how many things they'll auto-search, but... And this guy's missing an open haul. Why are you missing an open haul? Is that, that's a dumper. You know what? Let's get you an open haul. Where are we going? Yeah, because I know we have some over here by our automotive... Our automotive thing. Manufacturing. No, nope, not new stuff. New home. There you go. Good. Well, at least this one's not missing something. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful Christmas or Hanukkah. And happy holidays. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.